Hey everyone, my name is Josh, and this is the Star Wars Toys YouTube channel. And today we're going to unbox a 6 inch black series. This is the Sith Trooper. So let's go cut this guy loose. Alright everyone, here we are with a Sith Trooper from the Black Series. And we're going to unbox this guy today, but first I just want to ask you guys, if you're enjoying the videos, if you like the channel, please subscribe and like the videos. We'd love to have your support here. But let's get back to the Sith Trooper. So, just for context, and you guys know I'm filming this video before The Rise of Skywalker was released, so... These guys are new characters for the Rise of Skywalker, and there's still just a little bit of mystery surrounding them. But we are going to unbox this guy today, but let's take a look at the packaging. So, this guy was released in the most recent wave on Triple Force Friday, which was the first... Friday in October and what we're gonna do here is take a look at the back of the packaging as well and Of course you have a character description and I'll go ahead and read that for you guys Sith Trooper in the ultimate push towards galactic conquest the first order readies an army of elite soldiers that draw inspiration and power from a dark and ancient legacy and so, of course, my assumption, what they're talking about there is these guys have a little bit of force power, maybe. I'm, I'm not totally sure. And again, as I said, there's a little bit of mystery around these characters. We don't know a lot about them. They haven't even... They've showed up in the promotional material a little bit for The Rise of Skywalker. They're on one of the posters. You can see them. But until the movie's released still a little bit to know so if you follow black series you know that um this guy was kind of a first release um character from the movie so when they started releasing stuff for rise of skywalker this was the first figure that was released and you could get him in at you had to get him at comic con and they sold him on Has hasbro pulse for a little bit um so there was a comic con version of these these guys that came out and they had like six weapons i mean there was just a ton of accessories that came with them so when you get this guy in the standard packaging you can see you only get two uh rifles here and let's pop these guys out of here and we'll take a closer look at these in a little bit um but yeah i tried really hard to uh get my hands on one of those comic con exclusives i don't know if it was comic con but they were uh, i know one of the cons they sold them at was d23 and i tried really hard to get my hands on one i had a family member out there in california at the con and we just weren't able to get our hands on one so um i suppose if you look on ebay you probably find them marked up price but very cool oh cool so there's little clips and stuff on the side of his armor there um as you can see it's kind of just like a um, first order stormtrooper except he's got like little more detail in his armor so i know it may not come across on camera all that well i'm trying to get it. if you look there's like lines etched in his armor. So across the top of his head, across his face mask. Um, you can see there's like, if I can get the camera, you can see there's like lines etched in the armor. Um, it's on the chest plate as well. You can see them and the shoulder pad, the arm a little bit. But I guess that's kind of what makes them a little, other than the color, makes them a little different than the... Uh, regular first order stormtrooper and then you can see also the the etching is on the legs as well and the shin piece so but that's one of the big differences i've noticed between these guys and say a first order stormtrooper then also you have things like the chest plate design is a little bit different it's got some like squared off pieces and then there's like a gap in the middle there you can see and then also i see 
what looks like either a light maybe or a camera on the uh, shoulder pad there kind of like a body cam maybe but other than that um, it's almost identical to a or it's very close to a first order stormtrooper there's a little bit of mechanical or, or devices on the side of his armor there's a little which almost looks Mandalorian like some devices on his gauntlet as well um, but let's run through this guy's movements real quick um, and check out his articulation and oh, I thought I felt like the helmet was gonna come off let's see if we could see a face under there um okay so just looking at his head here, it looks like you just have simple rotation and very minimal back and forth. Um, and I think that's partly why the there's minimal head movement is just the helmet so big and it's just one of those things you get with a stormtrooper. So then looking at his arms here, you should have, whoa, okay, you should have... up and down movement, but as you can see, the shoulder plate is hitting with the body plate here so you can see they put some flexibility in it you can see it bending on me there so it's not gonna break off and it's the same thing over here i think what they meant for it to do and mine doesn't seem to be doing it is they want the armor to go over the chest piece the shoulder piece and you can see it works a little bit better on the side with the with the camera on it or whatever that little machine is but one of the good things I think they're starting to realize is they're putting flexibility in the arm pieces, the shoulder pieces, so you can still have, I think it's supposed to go over, you can still have good articulation and you don't break the figure. So also at the shoulder you should have a full rotation and then here at the elbow you should have a little bit stiffness but a rotation and forward and back. Um, so you have wrist rotation and I'm trying to see here. It looks like that's it. I don't, it looks like they tried to put articulation on the wrist to move it forward and back, but it just seems like the, the um, wrist piece is stopping that from happening. So you really only have rotation at the wrist. And okay, so this, his right hand is a little bit different. Um, you have rotation at the wrist and then also you have movement from thumb to pinky and I'm gonna have a I have a feeling that has something to do with him interacting with the blasters and so you can put him more posable and then moving down from there he has chest rotation and you can hear there's like a ratchet gear in there so he stays where you pose him so that's pretty cool. And then you also have forward and backwards movement at the leg here. Okay, you should have limited back. It goes pretty good forward. And you can see they got the armor to tuck under, the leg armor to tuck under the body armor. So that's cool. And then also there's a rotation on the leg, but it's a little bit tight because of the leg armor scraping. But you can see mostly most of the time on these black series the articulation point is right here where you can see it and they actually hit it under the leg armor on this guy so that's a little bit different than your standard stormtrooper and then moving forward you have knee forward and back you should have forward and back on the foot and also rotation as well very cool Okay, so what we want to do from here is check out how this guy interacts with his blaster. So you have two blasters, and I'm not totally sure because we haven't seen the movie yet. This looks like just a rifle to me, and you can see they're black with red highlights and a little silver tip there and a little bit of silver on the what looks like the scope. And I do not see any way that this thing moves or anything. And so, as I was talking a second ago about the um, clips on the armor. So you see he has this little 
hole in his leg armor here. And if you look at this little red tab that's sticking out there, that is designed to mate up with this. So he has like a holster for the gun. And it's a lot of the first order stormtroopers have this even in the three and three quarter inch line. Um, it stays in there pretty good and it's not super tight. So if you touch it a little bit, it does pop out, but just for display purposes and everything, it's in there pretty good. And so I was wondering here if this little piece on his leg here was something similar to that, but I'm not totally sure it doesn't I'm trying to see if this other, okay. So you can put either gun in there. And you can see with this one, I, I don't know what the difference in the guns, if this is just another blaster or a rocket launcher or a flamethrower or something like that. I'm, I'm going to assume it's just another blaster with a different barrel. Um, as you can see, it's very close to the other one. Um, got, except it's got this larger barrel with the cooling holes drilled in. You got a larger scope, but overall it's a little bit shorter. So it's either a larger caliber or, you know, we'll find out in December, I'm sure. But very nice looking weapons are very detailed. And so it's a little bit different on this one. So on the shorter gun, you see this little black tab. That's what you want to put in the leg armor. Where on this one, the tab is red and that's what you put in the leg armor. But I don't know exactly why they changed the color. I guess it's just the weapon design but that's how that works you're just gonna snap that in there and then you have like a little holster type of deal so very cool and because we're getting ready to interact him here with the weapons what i want to take a quick look at are his hand sculpts and so you can see his right hand you have a a trigger finger that's out a little bit further then on the left hand and that is to interact with the weapons i believe so let's see how that goes so very cool we'll start with the long rifle um very cool so there you can see how he holds it looks good trigger finger in the trigger guard he's got a real good grip on it and this is why they have different wrist articulation because you can pose him holding the gun at different angles like that so and then just to be nice and thorough here let's see if he holds it in the other hand here very cool and actually for being in the other hand that looks pretty good but you can see the difference in the trigger finger being out how it's not lining up with the trigger guard so but it looks good in his hand. It looks natural. He's got a good grip on it. Very cool. All right, so let's check out the shorter one with the big barrel. And, okay, very cool. Holds that very well. The trigger finger isn't lining up quite as well, but it still looks good. And, just got a pretty good grip on it just to be super thorough here let's and so he is holding it in his left hand but it kind of sits a little bit funny so you can see what i mean by they're they're meant to hold the, the rifles in that hand i think um it just looks better and a little bit more natural so very cool but if you want to be a kind of stormtrooper that holds one in each hand you can do that as well so very cool all right so let's give him the final little test here does he stand? And yes, he does. Very good. 
All right, everyone, there he is from the Rise of Skywalker. This is a Sith Trooper, number 92 in the Black Series line. And I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And if you are, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have your support here. And thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.